In this video, we're gonna be taking out this pipe and we're gonna do it right now. So let's take a look at what we got here. This is an old soil pipe, an old cast iron pipe, an old stink pipe, a cast iron stack, whatever you wanna call it. This is what used to connect to a toilet that used to be here. You can see they completely hacked this out to get a toilet there and nothing is connected to this anymore. So like I said, it picked up the toilet and it goes up straight through the roof as the vent for the house. Now I have all new plumbing and this is where it was connected to before. Um, so this pipe is not necessary. It's been like this since I moved in and it's time to get rid of it. So at one point you can see I supported it just in case. So down in the basement, all there is, is this right here then this little clean out right here. And then the elbow goes up through the floor. And then upstairs, this is where I took a wall out. And this is the reason that I'm finally removing this is because I want this box gone. And the pipe comes up here and runs up this thing, what you call a chase. Now you can kind of see it right here. And I know that it doesn't go anywhere else because it doesn't really have anywhere else to go. You can see here, here, and in those rooms, I tore the walls apart and I didn't see anything on the backside. And downstairs, you can see the toilet was right here. So obviously this was in use when this area was a bathroom and it is definitely not a bathroom anymore. So behind this is the original exterior wall. So there's definitely nowhere else it goes. And up in the attic, it comes through the ceiling and ends right there. So I ended up cutting this at one point because I got my roof done. I cut through this with a sawzall blade and that's an option, but it took a long time. Like, a really long time. So I'm gonna show you a quicker and easier way. But what comes off of this is some more pipe. Some galvanized pipe. And there was a piece right there. We took that out when we did this bathroom over here. And then it goes down here. So that must've been some kind of vent that was probably the sink at one time in that same old bathroom. Uh, so I got to get this pipe out of here too. So that's what I'm going to start with just to get that out of the way. And the only thing about this pipe is I'm not sure where it ends. I think it just dead ends in that wall, but I want to take a look before I start cutting or breaking anything out of here. So let's go back downstairs. This galvanized pipe runs over here and then back here. And I believe that that is the top plate that it runs down. So right down in this wall. So what I'm gonna do is open up this wall and just peek my head in there because this wall is coming out eventually anyways. So I'm just gonna cut a square out of here and take a look in there, make sure I know exactly where all this pipe goes before we start ripping it out. All right, let's open this up. Just gonna use a utility knife and score this. Let's get a hammer, be sophisticated. Oh, look at that. Hard to see. So I'm gonna open this up a little more. So I was hoping not to take this whole thing off because I have an 11 month old and he likes to get into everything. So I wanted to keep this clear, but if I get it all off in one piece, I can put it right back 
where it was. Let's try and do that. made a little door. There it is in the attic. Comes down. And we have this little coupler. I'm glad I did that because my original intention was I was maybe going to try and uh, detach it from up top and pull it up but with this little coupler thing and this board right here I wouldn't have been able to do that. Now that I know exactly what I'm dealing with I can start to attack it. I only have one real concern, and that's down here. Can you guess what my concern is? Well, it's this heat pipe. And I don't know if you know anything about cast iron, but it's really heavy, in fact. So picture how much is up there, eight feet through the wall, and there's probably six feet in the attic, and then all this down here. So all that weight pushing down, that's why I have this. That's why I have that. That's why, if you saw upstairs, I had some boards that went underneath that galvanized pipe because there's a lot of weight on this. And what the last thing I want to do is have this drop down and damage, or even worse, break this pipe. So I'm going to be careful. I'm going to try not to jostle this too much and keep all that in mind while I remove it. So there's a couple different ways I could do this. I could cut this, um, although I heard that uh, galvanized pipe is not a good thing to breathe in when you're cutting it. I mean, I've cut it before, but I don't know. So this is where the battery pack in my microphone died. I'm still figuring out this new setup. But basically, the other way to remove this pipe is to unscrew it. So I'm using a pipe wrench. This is an 18-inch, not a huge wrench for this type of wrench. Uh, I start by going the wrong way and then figure out uh, righty tighty lefty loosey going the right way now um, but it is very hard to turn so I use a cheater pipe which is just a an extension of the pipe wrench basically I'm actually using a section of a pole jack the perfect pipe would be the one that I'm removing but obviously I'd have to remove it in order to use it this pipe is very old and really stuck on there but after a couple attempts I finally got it to break loose Going now. There we go. Okay. Okay, we got that pipe out. So I'm going to leave this and start working on this cast iron. As I said before, I cut this with a metal blade and a sawzall and it took forever. That's one option. Another option is at these joints, you can take a big hammer and smash it and it will break. The thing about it is though, it won't just break. Typically it won't just break and drop to the floor. When you break this, this stuff can shoot like a projectile. So I don't want anybody getting hurt. So I'm gonna show you a cool tool to break this and get it out of here. So this is the tool. I rented this from home, the good old Home Depot, 32 bucks for four hours. And it basically, you hook this together. I'll show you exactly how to use it. And then it's like a ratchet style that goes around the pipe and it tightens it until it breaks. All these little wheels make a pressure point for the pipe and it breaks it. So I typically say, I don't recommend you doing this by yourself. And today I'm actually taking my own advice because I don't really want a cast iron pipe in the face. So I have my helper holding the top. I'm gonna cut this right here. So I'm gonna put my tool on, tighten it up and snap it. Here we go. I like this too because it doesn't disturb the pipe too much. And I have that situation in the basement. Go to the nearest pin with these hooks. And I'm right-handed, so it would be good for this to be on this side. But I want you guys to see. So you want this to have plenty of threads here. I'm going to go like that. And the 
they hook in just like that. Then I'm gonna tighten this up. There we go. Okay. Now when you do this, it pops. So it's probably gonna scare you. Just keep that in mind. I'm gonna take my ratchet, goes right in here. I'm gonna tighten it up until it pops. There it is. Sweet. That was cool. Yeah, right? That was way cooler than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Easier than a sawzall. For sure. Let's see what we got here. Hey, there's a pipe. Place this trim, anyways. Nice. I'm gonna loosen this all the way. Okay, ready, Colin? All right. I got the bottom half of this so it won't go too far once this is snapped. I got my buddy upstairs. He's gonna grab that piece and we should be good. Awesome. Now we're gonna snap it right here. I don't know how I would have done this by myself probably would have set up some elaborate hanging system which might have been cool but way easier with another person yeah that was cool imagine doing that myself oh, where do you think that good. pipe would go that's one thing to keep in mind when you do this uh, when it pops it could pop up i am so glad i did not do this by myself Oh, dude that's so cool yes that's so cool and that perfectly shows yeah that it pops up yep. that went high i think oh, that that's like, higher than i thought lo i lost it for a second like when it popped yeah it, it went so quick and it just pops up right out of your hand okay the rest of this out so gently okay this piece right here oh stay okay one more snap up here probably the last snap I'm gonna go as low as I can so that we don't have a problem pulling it through the floor down there. This is the one. This is the one. Okay, this is the one. <laughs> Maybe this one? Okay, one more. One more, I promise. Probably one more. <laughs> Okay, this has to be it. Hold you. I bet you this is it. <laughs> How heavy is that, Colin? Pretty heavy. How about pounds? Oh, I don't know. 80? <laughs> yeah, probably. 
That's good, we're getting a lot of weight off of this joist down there. Okay, only one thing left to do. All right, moment of truth. So what my plan is, is I'm gonna take my gun and on the back side here, I'm gonna take that bolt out that's holding this bracket on and then I have to switch to a different socket because it's a different size, of course. Take this one out and then I can take that out and then we're gonna support it, pull this out of the way, turn it and pull it down back behind this pipe. That's the plan anyways. What do you think, Colin? Good, okay. Okay, that one's out. What am I stuck on? The only thing is, is it has to go this way because it's oh, really? stuck on right there. So I can't really pull that much this way. I gotcha. New plan, I'm gonna cut this two by four out. Yeah, so now all the weight's on this. Okay. Okay, got it? Okay. Oh, let me take that. Okay, ready? Yep. Okay, that's it. Here we go. Oh yeah. Woo! I love it. That's it, done. And the pipe that's been here since 1946 is out of my house and I'm pretty happy about it. Usually I do this kind of stuff by myself, but this one was a little sketchy, so I gotta give a shout out to my buddy Colin. Thank you for helping me. If you like this type of content, definitely consider subscribing. There's plenty more to come, and if you wanna see more videos like this, you can click hereish and hereish and check those out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. That was cool.